Hello and welcome to this demonstration of Pervasive Analytics for SAP Business One, version for SAP HANA. I'd like to show you how easy it is to build analytics into an area of your everyday business activity, such as the Business Partner Master Data. To do this, I'm going to create a very simple query to give me an overview of every sales employee in my company and their sales performance by customer. I will then embed that query into the Business Partner Master Data, providing me with a dynamic report when reviewing customer details. So let's start by navigating to Tools, then Queries, and then the Query Generator to create my very simple query. I'm now going to select the relevant variables from two tables from within SAP Business One. The first table is the OINV table, which is the invoice table in Business One, and the second table is the OSLP table, which contains all employee details. In the OINV table, I would like to display my customer code. I would also like to display the sales employee code. And my document total. In the OSLP table, I'd like to display the sales employee name. I'm now going to execute my query to check that all the relevant details are displayed. Now I'm able to save my query and I'm going to call it sales employee performance. Once I've saved my query, I can now create a dashboard for my query. In SAP Business One, version for SAP HANA, located under the Tools menu, we have a Dashboard Designer. The Dashboard Designer allows you to transform your query into pervasive analytics as a dashboard inside your master data. In the Dashboard Designer, I'm firstly going to select my base query, which is the Sales Employee Performance query that I created. Next, I'm going to design my dashboard by defining the measures and dimensions for my query. I'm going to choose the document total, and then I'm going to drag the document total to the target measure section, and it will represent the sum of all of the invoice documents. I'm then going to choose the sales employee name and drag it to the target dimension section. As you can see, my data is now displayed as a chart. There is a range of chart types that you can select from, but we're going to select the column chart. Now I have a visualization of invoice document totals broken down by sales employee. Lastly, I need to define a dashboard name, such as sales employee performance, and my dashboard will then be saved. I now need to link my dashboard to a specific business process or business activity. In this case, I'm going to link my dashboard to my business partner master data. And then I'm going to link the business partner code dimension to the customer code defined in my query. We've now finished completing our dashboard for the query that we created. I am now going to review one of my customers called Norton Thompson from the Business Partner Master Data in the Business Partners menu. You can see on the right side of my Business Partner Master Data window, there is an Analytics tab. And by clicking on this, it displays several pervasive analytics dashboards, including the one that we've just defined. The dashboard displays three sales employees and their sales performance against this particular customer. And I can quickly gain a view of which sales employee is performing the best. 
Another great feature of having Pervasive Analytics as a dashboard inside your master data, for example, is the option to display this data in your cockpit. For example, if you go to My Cockpit, Sales, and then Settings within your Dashboard section, you can then select which dashboards you would like to display, such as the Sales Employee Performance Dashboard that we recently created. So now we have a sales employee dashboard that does not have any relation to a specific business partner, but it gives me an overview of all of the sales employees across my organization and their sales performance. This is a great example of demonstrating pervasive analytics in SAP Business One, version for SAP HANA.